What's going on YouTube? Dorito here. And today we're going to change out the ignition coil on the Telemotor Baja 200. Now it's a GY6169. It's basically the same thing on every one of your GY6 engines, whether it be a hammerhead, whether it be a, a Trailmaster, whether it be a Kimco or any other. It's a 169cc. So I'm going to show you guys how to change out the coil on it. It's basically going to be two 8mm bolts that go in and you're going to have to cut a zip tie and you're going to have to unplug that. Now what I did do was I disconnected my battery and I am charging it while I'm doing this because I like to disconnect the battery and make sure there's no electricity running through anywhere. That way there's no shorts or anything like that. So anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to blow this up and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it and we'll take it from there. So let's get on with it, shall we? Okay, so we're back. So let's get on with this. What you've got here is you've got your, your two eight millimeter bolts that are bolted up from the inside on the back here. And then you've got your plug, your, your wire for your plug. You're gonna to wanna to pull that out. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to get an eight millimeter wrench, ratcheting wrench preferred, or ratchet, whichever. And you're gonna to wanna to get under there. You're gonna to wanna to loosen it. Pull it on out. I'm not cutting my zip tie yet because I want to go ahead and pull the bolts out first. But we'll get that out. And then is the purposes of the of the coil, its main function is to conduct low voltage from the battery or CDI into the high voltage necessary to create a spark at the spark plug, um, enabling combustion. So basically that's the theory of it. I'll go ahead and put more of a description of what exactly how the coil functions in the description below on the video so we got one bolt out there now notice i'm not unplugging anything yet because i want to go ahead and plug the other one up as i have it out so then everything's matched up completely but it is the green and black wires right there you have one that's a ground you can't really mess it up it's pretty basic there okay so you can use a ratchet as, or a, a ratchet as well but i'm using a ratchet wrench just a little easier for me. Okay, so once you get your second bolt out, what you want to do is you got your your ground right here. Okay, that's onto the bolt. And then you have your other your for your positive side, I believe, that goes onto there. Okay, and that's the green. Pretty basic. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it pull that bolt out real quick. You're gonna unplug this guy here. Get that guy unplugged. Once you got that unplugged, I'm gonna leave that hanging there for a second. Actually, I'll just go ahead and cut my zip tie right now. Now remember, you gotta put one back there just to keep everything tight. Okay, so once you do that, you want to go ahead and get your other CDI. You want to plug up this again as well. You want to take your ground and you want to put your ground on. Okay, you want to take that same bolt and you want to put it back on the same way you took it off. Okay, so you put your bolt on through, get it through right there. Go ahead and get your coil into place. bit more fun to reach in behind the seat there. Put that back on. One there.
Okay. Now that you've got it in there a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it on down. Wrench into place. Now you gotta make sure you have your ground on there as well. And you have your, uh, your ground connected and you also have your wire connected as well, okay? So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna tighten these up. And there you go. Now, once you got that connected, you can go ahead and connect up your plug wire. Once you got that on, you can go ahead and connect your battery. I'll go ahead and get that done real quick. Disconnect your battery charger. I'm gonna go ahead and simply connect your battery. That's just real easy. I just disconnected the uh, positive from it, or the uh, negative side. You want to take your zip tie, and you want to hook that all back up accordingly, okay? So, take that guy, get that guy wrapped around there. Now, I'm not going to put any coil wire or anything. Let's go ahead. That's not going to be an issue there. Okay. Go ahead and put your zip tie on. Easy peasy. Make sure everything's nice and pretty and secure. That done. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay, so there you go. Bolt it in, connect it up, and everything like that. So what we're gonna do <coughs> is we're gonna bring it back out and give it a fire up and get right back to you guys, okay? Okay guys, we're back. We changed out the coil pack and everything like that. It should take you about 10 minutes. It doesn't take very long at all. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start it up, make sure it starts and everything like that. I'm not gonna do a test run on it. I just wanted to show you guys how to switch that out real quick. Okay, so let's check it out. Okay, start it up okay. It is, it is holding a charge. It was running at about 14.5 to 15 when it was repping right there. So hopefully that'll work out for me okay. Hopefully I don't have the issues that I had. Um, the issues I had, it was cutting out at a high RPM, so I don't know if it was charging too much or not. So first thing is change the ignition coil, and then we go on to the regulator and so on and so forth. So anyways, I wanna thank you guys for watching. It's a real simple video. I hope this helps you guys out, and I hope that it explains how easy it is to do stuff like this. So thanks for watching Leech Mob Garage, and don't forget to come back. Peace. Don't forget to, to, to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the bell. Thanks for watching. Bye.